Okay, let's do a quick visual condition report. Looking here in the back seat, looks absolutely gorgeous. Really nothing standing out as far as imperfections go. On the seat back, you have a couple little indentions and a small scuff right here from the seat belt. Otherwise, very, very nice. We have a couple wrinkles here, but I'm not seeing any rips. A little scuff right there. A small scuff right there. Otherwise, that seat looks really, really good. Kick plate looks good. Looking at this door, we have a little imperfection there in the leather. Have a little divot out of there and a small scuff. Otherwise, very clean. And looking here on the dash, we have a few little scuffs here in the leather. Those floor mats look amazing. Carpet looks great. Alright, looking at the interior, you do have a little bit of wear here on this trim piece and a couple little scuffs. A few scuffs here on the handle, but otherwise very nice. Looking at the kick plate here, a couple scuffs here on the bottom, and this little handle has a little bit of wear, some of the silver's missing. We do have some creases here, but I'm not seeing any rips out of them just yet. And a little bit of wear on the bolster here. It still looks really nice. Now we do have a little hole here. Could have been like a cigarette burn hole or something. Now this car does not smell like smoke. That could have happened 25 years ago. The inside of this car actually smells really, really nice. Looking at the steering wheel, you can see it's cracked all throughout the wood grain here. A little piece is missing. And this little cubby does not want to stay shut. We do have a piece missing in the wood here. Shifter looks really nice. And if you look closely at some of these buttons, some of the plastic is kind of chipping away there. The gauges look nice. The top of the dash looks really good. great overall though for a 25 year old car the interior is very very clean okay starting with the front right maybe hard to see but there are a couple little rock chips here on this section but this top side looks really nice as well as here on the bottom if you look at this wheel you do have curb rash all the way around in little sections see that right there that lower rocker looks really nice of course you have a couple little rock chips here on the mirror we do have a scratch right here in the paint we have a little chip right there we have a little chip right here under the handle and then you have a small scratch right there if you can see that We have a couple chips here, it looks like three or four, and they have been touched up, and we have a small chip right there. Looking at this wheel, same thing as the front, you have curb rash that makes its way all throughout the edge. And then here on the back bumper, in this little section right here, we have some spider cracking and a scuff. See that? And then we have a few faint scuffs right here and then you have a scratch right here that's kind of divoted into the plastic as well as right there the rest of that looks really good all of this looks really nice nothing's really standing out to me up here the tail light looks awesome chip right here. I'm not
not seeing any curb rash on this left rear wheel. We have a little rock chip right here. And then if you look at this door edge, you do have some chips throughout. And it looks like a small crease right there. It's very faint. You can see it just a little bit. Lower rocker looks great here. We do have a gash right there. And from here to about right there is a scratch. And it looks like it has been touched up. See that? And then you have a few scuffs here. And then you have a scratch right there that's been touched up. Looking at this mirror, only a couple little rock chips every once in a while. The rest of that lower rocker looks great. And then here on the front left wheel, we do have some curb rash right here, as well as there. The rest of that looks really nice. A few tiny little rock chips. And then looking at this front bumper, it is peppered with rock chips and a little bit of road debris. And there is a scuff right here. It looks like something kind of rubbed down across the bumper. So if you can see that, little faint lines. And then of course, like I said, just the little rock chips every once in a while. Just kind of peppered throughout. We have a little curb rash right there. Overall though, the rest of this lower side looks really good. If you have any other questions, give us a shout at Exotic Motorsports of Oklahoma, and I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks, guys, and have a good one.